hail the clicks crew all right guys today we're counting down the 10 best figures from the dc hero clicks wonder woman 80th anniversary hero clicks set this is the the uh new hero clicks 2021 set uh again featuring dc comics wonder woman we're going to count down my 10 favorites from this set uh they're going to be in no particular order and if you don't see the figure that is your favorite from the set make sure to put your favorite one in the comments below i always enjoy reading that stuff and it might give me a new figure to uh, look at and try for different teams and stuff like that it might show up in a video before we go ahead and get into this video though now's a good time to let you know that mr clicks flicks is sponsored by lucky dice cafe out of huntsville alabama home of the roc no matter if you're in the united states or around the world lucky dice cafe has the winning role for our gaming needs you can visit them at luckydicecafe.com or on their facebook page using link found in the description of this video all right guys without further ado let's go ahead and get into the countdown scarab is number zero six four in the set he has the dark knight secret six armor deity monster and ruler keywords he has two traits and a special on his damage first trait is secret six outwit scarab modifies attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with a shared keyword if there are six plus friendly characters with the secret six keyword on your force, opposing characters can't use protected outwit or safeguard outwit. So that's pretty cool there. The traded outwit alone is pretty neat. Uh, but the uh, one plus attack when attacking characters with uh, a shared keyword is pretty good. He's the uh, armor monster and ruler are pretty uh, frequent keywords to pop up. So uh, you've got a decent chance at uh, getting that uh, plus one. Uh, the secret six part of it, uh, you're, good luck uh, using that one a little bit, but uh, still a, a really good trait there. Uh, his other trait is, I thought we could all throw a party at my new place. Free, choose an adjacent character. Until your next turn, Scarab can use the effect of all equipment equipped to that character. That's really great. That's a nice force multiplier on your equips and stuff like that that different characters are able to use. Um, within set, you have the Wonder Woman uh, characters with all their different things. But then uh, looking at it in a broader thing, uh, you've still got modern legal uh, things like the Collector, the Mandarin and stuff like that that can use multiple equips and he can use the effects of all of them simultaneously. That's a, a really big deal. Then his special on his damage is the training wheels are off. Scarab can count squares for range and line of fire from unheld objects and opposing equipment characters, uh, opposing equipped characters. When Scarab attacks this way, he deals a maximum of one damage. So the maximum of one damage is kind of not great, but you see why, because he can attack basically from anywhere on the field depending on how it is that you you set up your objects and on top of that if your opponent's using objects as well you can attack through them that just it's icing on the cake and you can draw his um outwit lines of fire and range from there just a really solid uh, ability there if you look at him he's got two different point lines 75 points and 50 points he's got the mystics team ability and injustice league team ability six range single target at 75 points he's got a nine movement with running shot 11 attack, psychic blast, 18 defense, toughness, 3 damage with that special. Then at 50 points, he's got an 8 movement with sidestep, 11 attack, telekinesis, 17 defense with um, super senses, and 2 damage with that special. Um, I like both point lines on this one. For me personally, uh, I like the idea of just running them at 50 and using them as a secondary attacker or somebody just to kind of really harass my opponent on their side of the field with and just use them to to ping um, either Colossals or um, or uh, like their uh, support characters from all the way across the board. I like this guy a lot. Definitely one of the best figures in this set. Giganta is number 037A in the set. She has the Female Furies, Injustice League, Legion of Doom, Secret Six, uh, Secret Society of Supervillains, Suicide Squad, and Scientist Keywords. So definitely a keyword rich character here she's got two traits first one is giant retaliation villains unite power if no other friendly character has been placed this turn choose an opposing character that attacked giganta or damaged another friendly character since your last turn place giganta such that she can make a close attack targeting the chosen character then do so if giganta is on a theme team this trait is active 
activated as free instead. That's just great. So she's a, a colossal retaliator. Uh, obviously, she's a giant, not a colossal, but the term. Uh, so she's a retaliator, which is good. Power action, non-theme team, free action, theme team. So that's that's great there. Uh, her other trait is size manipulation. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose that Giganta has giant size. Until your next turn, if you do, she takes a maximum of two damage from attacks until your next turn. That's really good there to, to limit the damage that you can take uh, for um, you know what she does here. Uh, two different point lines, 100 points and 30 points in Justice League team ability. Uh, if you run her at 100 points, she's got an 11 movement with charge, uh, 11 attack with quake, 18 defense and vulnerability, th and 4 damage. And then at 30 points, you're not really giving up too much for, for 70 points. Uh, it's a 9 movement with charge, 10 attack with quake, 18 defense, invulnerability, 3 damage. Obviously, I like her at the 30 point line, and you just have her as a retaliator. She's phenomenal. Scientist is probably her strongest keyword uh, that's on her thing. So it's great to see Scientist getting a, a retaliator here. Uh, she's just a really decent figure with, with good stats for 30 points. Uh... You're going to be able to uh, get her across the board. Attack with that free if she's on a theme. And then Quake for free again. For 30 points, even if you're only able to do that once and pull it off in a game. Definitely worth it. I feel like she's one of the best figures in this set. Steve Trevor is number 020 in the set. He has a trait and a special on his damage. He is also a captain. His trait is take cover. Friendly sidekicks can use energy shield deflection. That's phenomenal. Uh, it has nothing to do with keywords or anything. There's no picking a friendly sidekick. It is a blanket. Friendly sidekicks get energy shield deflection. That's phenomenal. Uh, there's a bunch of sidekicks out there with 16, 17 defenses. This gets them up to an 18, 19 for range. That's just a really strong ability. Then on top of that, he has this special on his damage, which is... Um, call in reinforcements leadership when steve trevor uses it and succeeds you may instead generate a 002 allied soldier on click number one so on top of handing out all of uh all your sidekicks uh energy shield deflection he can call in allied soldiers which are also sidekicks and give them energy shield deflection they also have enhancement uh so they're really going to be able to help your ranged characters uh, two different point lines, 60 points and 40 points. Wonder Woman team ability, so super senses and succeeds uh, only on a six. And then if you have super senses, uh, is a four through six. Uh, it's 60 points. Uh, or, well, at both point lines, he's got a six range single target. At 60 points, he's got a nine movement with running shot, 10 attack, 17 defense with super senses, three damage with that special. And then at 40 points, he's got an eight movement with running shot, 10 attack, 17 defense with... Um, Super senses and two damage with that special. I like them a lot at the 40 points just to really provide a lot of support for your uh, sidekicks. Uh, soldier is a really strong keyword as is past. So I think that you're going to be really seeing him crop up on a lot of teams uh, here in the not too distant future. Uh, definitely one of the easier to get figures in the set and for sure one of the best ones in the set. Superman is number 016 in the set. He has the Amazon, Justice League, Kryptonian, Metropolis, Trinity, and Reporter keywords. He's a captain. He has improved movement, destroys blocking, a trait, and a special on his defense. His trait is pick on someone your own size free, choose a friendly sidekick. That character can use invulnerability until your next turn. That's phenomenal there. It's not great in the fact that you can only pick one, but invuln is a really strong damage reducer. Um, so the fact that he hands it out, even if it's to one, can be game changing. And there's no thing about uh, line of fire or range or anything like that. So it's a, a global effect. Then the special on his defense is Kryptonian Skin and Kryptonian Senses. Impervious Super Senses Protected Outwit. That's ridiculous when you consider that he also has the Wonder Woman Ally team ability. So he succeeds on his Super Senses on 4 through 6 and he has an Impervious Rollout. That's just really great. Two different point lines. 275 points and 125 points. Superman team ability and Wonder Woman team ability. Six range, single target. At 275 points, you get a massive 15 movement with charge. 12 attack. 19 defense with that special. 
five damage with close combat expert. So you're going to be able to charge in for a 13 for six from range. And that's if you're not carrying an object for seven, which is just, it's silly. That's a silly amount of damage. Uh, and then at uh, 125 points, you've got an 11 movement with charge uh, and the flight ability, 11 attack, 18 defense with that same special four damage. Um, I like these both a lot. In Sealed in particular, this guy's a Haas at 275. There's no Perplex within this set. So in order to get the attacks up, you're relying on a bunch of other mechanics. So most of the characters have a 10 or 11. I'll take somebody needing a 9, an, an 8 or a 9. Most, you know, all day, every day, I'll take that. Uh, and then on top of that, he gets two rollouts. Uh, this guy is just one of the best figures in the set. I really like that WizKids put such a good figure in the common slot. I love... Love, 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 and I know I've said it a few different times. I, I love how they designed this set. It's going to get its own um, video on, on the design of this set and why I like it. But this is one of the big reasons, and I feel like he is one of the very best figures in this set. Donna Troy is number 031B in the set. She has the Amazon, Teen Titans, and Warrior keywords. She has two traits, a special on her defense, and improved movement destroys blocking. Her first trait is Champion of Themyscira, Wonder Woman's bracelets. Donna Troy may start the game with a Wonder Woman equipment equipped. If Donna Troy is equipped with the Wonder Woman's bracelets, uh, when she is targeted by range attack, increase the result of her super senses rolls by an additional plus one. So she would get the um, protected outwit from the bracelets is what that would give her. She'd get a additional plus one to her super senses rolls at range. And when we look at her dial, she's got super senses on her dial and Wonder Woman team ability. So she succeeds if you give her the Wonder Woman um, bracelets and she's attacked at range. She, su she succeeds on a three, four, five or six on her super senses. She has a 66% chance at, at getting on her super senses the way she wants. That is phenomenal. I, that's, that's just crazy to think that, that they made it so that you have that degree of uh, ability to evade, which is really cool. I, I like this figure a lot for that. Her other trait is the groovy 70s. Each turn, the first friendly character finalized uh, attack roll of seven is a critical hit. Seven statistically is the roll you should be coming up with the most. So the first time you see it, it is a critical hit. That's just a really solid ability there. Uh, and then her special on her defense is toughness super senses. She's only 50 points, has the Wonder Woman and Teen Titans team ability. Zero range dual target, so that means she can dual target characters up close. 12 movement with charge in the flight ability, 11 attack with quake, 18 defense with that special three damage for 50 points. She's just a really good close combat attacker. And then on top of that, she's also uh, evading on range on a, a three, four, five or six. And then uh, anybody, the, the first uh, seven, that is an attack roll on your uh, team. That's finalized is a critical hit. She's just really great in my book. Uh, Warrior is probably her best overall team uh, keyword, but Amazon's really good in set. Uh, I just, I really like this figure a lot, especially for only 50 points. I feel like she's one of the best ones in the set. Wonder Woman is number 062 in the set. She has the Amazon, Trinity, Deity, and Warrior keywords. She has two traits and a special on her defense. Her first trait is Princess of Themyscira. Wonder Woman may start the game with any Wonder Woman equipment equipped. So that's really cool there. You've got a whole plethora of uh, things to choose from. She specifically comes with the wings, which will give her uh, invulnerability. And then... Um, the uh, first time she is, if she's on her top click, uh, she takes a max of one damage, which is just really cool. Uh, and then her other trait is a shifting focus. So this is the super rare shifting focus Wonder Woman there. That just really opens up her ability to do a bunch of different things. Uh, I think this is because of that, one of the better figures in the set. And then the special on her defense is defend toughness. Uh, she has the Wonder Woman team ability. She's 75 points, has a 10 movement with charge and the flight ability, 11 attack blades, claws, fangs, 19 defense with that special and two damage with empower. Uh, so that 19 defense, she's able to share that with a bunch of characters. Um, there is no perplex in this set. Um, 
So hitting that 19 is actually a really tall order. And then the fact that you're probably sharing around that 19 makes it even more difficult. And then you see on her last two clicks, she has a 19 still, but with regen, uh, that's just great. And then on top of that, she's got an 11 attack with Blades, Claws, Fangs, so she might be able to hit for six. She's given everyone plus one damage for their close attacks. Just a really good figure uh, for inset. And uh, I, I like her a lot. So hopefully we see a few people uh, give her some play in uh, Constructed as well. Chip is number 060 in the set. He has the Green Lantern Corps Animal and Herald keywords. He has one trait, which is Green Lantern of Sector 1014 free. If no construct generated by Chip was on your force this turn, generate a green construct. So that's really cool. He doesn't come with one, but there's two in the set to choose from if you're lucky enough to pull them. So that's just a, a little neat bonus. It's not really why he's on this list, but it's something neat. He's got the Green Lantern team ability, so he's got Passenger 8, and as things are worded right now, he doesn't decrease his movement when he carries people, so you get his full movement. Only 35 points, 6 range single target, 8 movement with sidestep and the flight ability, 10 attack with telekinesis, 18 defense, energy shield deflection, and 2 damage with probability control. Uh, so for only 35 points, you get a taxi that can carry 8 characters, 8 friendly characters. They have telekinesis and probability control. I mean, this guy is just phenomenal. I, there's no way to to really talk about how good of a support character he is. He does it all. He does your taxi. He can move you around additionally after that with the the telekinesis. And then on top of all that, he also has probability control. Animal is by far his strongest keyword. Harold's actually not bad. Uh, so I look to see him on at least a lot of animal uh, theme teams. So uh, I feel like he is for sure one of the better figures in the set. Giganta is number 037B in the set. She has the Injustice League, Legion of Doom, Secret Six, and Scientist keywords. She has two traits, a special on her attack and a special on her defense. Her first trait is Reluct Reluctant Alliance. When establishing theme teams, you may choose a friendly character named Wonder Woman. If you do, Giganta gains that character's keywords. Uh, so it's all the keywords. It's not just name keywords or something like that. So really cool there that she can always be paired up with at least Wonder Woman for a theme. Her other trait is Giant Retaliation when Titans Awaken. Power, choose a friendly character that attacked a friendly... I'm sorry. Choose an opposing character that attacked a friendly character or that was attacked by a friendly character named Wonder Woman since your last turn. Place Giganta such that she can make a close attack targeting the chosen character then do so. So that's really cool. It's a power action retaliation, but it's still retaliation, a nice easy way to get her across the board. Uh, she's got this special on her attack called Knock Them Off Their Feet. Quake, when Giganta uses it to target two or more characters, she deals her printed damage value to each hit character and after resolutions, give each hit character an action token. So that's really pretty strong there. Uh, with the new rules and how Quake is, it, it gets it down to two. So uh, being able to deal your printed is, is a pretty big deal right now. Then she's got a special on her defense, pick on someone your own size, invulnerability. Giganta takes a maximum of one damage from characters with the tiny size regular size or colossal size damage symbols two different point lines 75 points and 25 points wonder woman team ability and uh wild card team ability uh team player uh and she's got at 100 i'm sorry at 75 points she's got a zero range dual target so able to multi-target up close she's got a 10 a movement with charge 11 attack with that special 18 defense with that special, 4 damage outwit, giant size. And then at 25 points, she's got a 9 movement with sidestep, 10 attack with that special, 17 defense with that special, 3 damage with outwit. I really like both of these um, uh, of these point lines. Uh, if you have a, uh, a way to make sure that there's a Wonder Woman on your team, I could see running her at 75 points and then just you know, really doing your best to protect her from getting outwitted. Uh, if you're able to protect her from getting outwitted and she's taking a maximum of one damage from basically everything that's not a giant, uh, I think you're going to really be happy with this figure. If you're looking at just uh, having a Colossal Retaliator, let's say on your scientist team or something like that, 
25 points is a heck of a deal for what she's got going on here. So uh, overall, I like this figure a lot. Super happy with her uh, outside of the paint app. Really still upset over how those feet are. But uh, overall, mechanically, she's hands down one of the better figures in the set. Ferdinand is number 025 in the set. He has the Amazon Brute Monster and Warrior keywords. He has one trait which is personal chef of the Themyscirian Embassy. Power, choose an adjacent friendly character and roll a d6. Heal that character equal to half the result. That is phenomenal. It's basically support without bothering to make that pesky roll to see if you can actually do it or not. That's great. Uh, Warrior and Monster are really his best team abilities. He's got the Wonder Woman team ability. I'm sorry, his best keywords. He's got the Wonder Woman team ability. He's only 30 points, starts off with a 10 movement with charge, 10 attack, 17 defense with um, toughness, 3 damage. And then if you let him take 2 clicks, he ends up with super senses, which really helps his survivability because of the Wonder Woman team ability. But you're really, for 30 points, as much as it looks like he's a nice little throwaway attacker, you're trying to keep him in the back of the board so he can just power action heal people. This guy has saved me so many times in games already that I think you're going to see a lot of people really add them to some teams, even if it's non-theme, just so he can power action heal them and they don't have to do anything other than that. Uh, so for that alone, I feel like he's one of the better figures in the set. And I love this Minotaur sculpt. I think it turned out really good. Uh, the paint apps on all of the Minotaurs that I've gotten and pulled turned out really well. So hopefully we get uh, more of this stuff in the future. But yeah, Ferdinand, one of the best figures in the set. Sky Tyrant is number 065 in the set. He has the Dark Knights, Injustice Society, Secret Six, Brute, Monster, Past, and Warrior keywords. So for sure, a few keywords in there that are really good, especially Monster, Past, and Warrior. He's got two traits and a special on his movement. His first trait is Secret Six, Outwit. Sky Tyrant modifies attack plus one when attacking one or more characters with a shared keyword. If there are six or more friendly characters with the Secret Six keyword on your force, opposing characters can't use protected outwit or safeguard outwit so really cool there just the traded outwit alone is is enough to make you happy uh the other trait he has is i'll rack up so much blood will reincarnate forever when Sky Tyrant KOs an opposing character, give him a reincarnation token. When Sky Tyrant would be KO'd, he may instead remove a reincarnation token and turn him to click number seven. So every time he KOs somebody, you give him a reincarnation token. It doesn't say standard character. It doesn't say anything. So I'm assuming uh, that you're going to be able to do it with bystanders and you know colossal retaliators and stuff like that. Uh, you give him a reincarnation token and he just keeps coming back uh, if you do manage to KO him. Then that special on his movement is Sky Tyrant flies again. Flurry charge, but do not have speed. When Sky Tyrant hits after resolutions, he may move up to half his speed value using improved movement ignores characters. So he can essentially charge in, hit a character with his flurry, Move half his speed again, hit another character, and then move half his speed again to get out of dodge. That's just a really good ability. Uh, two different point lines, 100 points and 50 points in Justice League team ability. Uh, he's got a zero range dual target, so that means he can attack uh, multiple characters up close. Uh, he starts off at 100 points with a 12 movement with that special in the flight ability. 12 attack, blades, claws, fangs. 17 defense with invulnerability and 3 damage with um, exploit weakness. Then at 50 points, he's got an 11 movement with that special. 11 attack with quake. 17 defense with energy shield deflection and 3 damage with exploit weakness. Uh, both of these point lines are really good. Uh, just to look at the 100 point line though, you, you can charge your um, entire 12 movement. You can Blades Exploit Flurry for, we'll just say maybe six. Maybe KO the one figure, get your, um, get your reincarnation token, move another six, and then you can uh, roll Blades and Exploit for the next one with your second Flurry. 
maybe KO another figure and then move six again. That is a lot. That is, that is controlling the entire board with this one figure. Uh, the 50.1 isn't bad, but I mean, the upside of that 100.1, yes, you have to commit your entire strategy to that probably. But overall, I mean, this guy is just, he has meta written all over him. Uh, I definitely... I'm, I'm sure you're going to see at least one or two people make a go of them, if not actually win some events with them. All right, guys, so those are my picks for the 10 best figures in the Wonder Woman 80th Anniversary Hero Click set. You guys let me know what your favorite figure is from this set. I always enjoy reading that stuff in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a share. It really helps keep me motivated to make these videos, but also it lets YouTube know, hey, I enjoyed this video. Maybe other people would as well, so it helps uh, with the algorithm and getting these videos shared out. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's uncritical miss. We don't have probability control.